So anyway, continuing with the rest of my experience at the Rock Imperium 2024. After Holy Side, I did have to uh, leave the venue, leave the park of the, you know, where the festival was being held. Had to leave for a little while because uh, all of a sudden my phone, it was at 20%. I was like, yeah, I'll just uh, save power for, uh, you know, so I can take pictures of... Uh, the last bands that I'm going to be seeing. But then when I turned it back on, it was at 3%. And, you know, I'm like, oh, fuck you, technology. You know, that's how technology is sometimes really cunning and, uh, you know, like a little backstabber. So, yeah, I had to leave. I, I went to the bar where uh, the bus dropped us off. And they were really nice enough to let me charge my phone there. I stayed there until uh, it charged to uh, 50%. And yeah, then I got there uh, in time to see a little bit of Warlock. Great band. You know, old school heavy metal with Dodo Patch. And this is what I'm getting about Warlock is that if Judas Priest, the actual Judas Priest, was performing a few days ago, why do you have the need to perform covers of uh, Judas Priest songs? Come on. So anyway, after Warlock, I went back to the small stages. I was uh, able to see a little bit of a band called Textures. And, you know, really boring. I really didn't care that they were finishing. Well, I did uh, I did care that they were finishing because then that means it was time for Carcass. And, yeah, really awesome band. Now with Carcass, you have to pay attention a little bit just so you can know when they were performing the next song. I did recognize a few of the songs they played. 316L, great uh, surgical steel, hard work of course, keep on riding in the free world. Those are the few I remember. But yeah, it was awesome and really full of energy. I remember I was headbanging and the guy next to uh, behind me, he was uh, with his hand like this, so my hair wouldn't hit him. And, you know, it's like, bitch, deal with it. You're at a metal festival. 90% of the people have long hair. 90% of the people are going to be headbanging. So, you know, deal with it. Either deal with it or move somewhere else. So after Carcass was a thrash metal band, Injector, I saw this band um, on... December they were opening for Dust Bolt. Really awesome and great to uh, have seen them again. And it was a great way to end the festival. Now uh, with Injector, um, what I did like about them is that they also performed a cover of uh, Testaments, Practice What You Preach. You know, really awesome because a bunch of us there were Testament fans, I can tell. Now the only bad thing about Injector performing was that Tankard was supposed to be uh, performing. But due to some uh, personal things that happened uh, to the band, I think one of the, uh, not one of uh, the guitarist, yeah, the guitarist, he suffered an injury, and yeah, they had to step down, so, you know, that's unfortunate, and let's see how long it takes for them to uh, come back to the festival to actually perform there, because there are bands who were supposed to have been playing there at the festival, and we have yet to hear from them again. Suffocation was supposed to play last year, but, you know, we don't know anything about them yet. 
Same with uh, Nervosa, who was supposed to play on the first year. So anyway, yeah, really can't wait to see what they have in store for us next year. Really hope they don't uh, pussy out. Hope they don't uh, bring a bland uh, lineup. No offense to people who like, uh, you know, the traditional heavy metal and hard rock. But, you know, that to me, if the lineup was full of that, it would be bland. And yeah, hope they bring really good thrash and death metal to us. And yeah, it was a really great experience for me, because since I live 15 minutes uh, to that town where the festival was being held, there were buses that would uh, leave us at our hometowns. And it was awesome for me, because then the next day I can just, uh, you know, freshen up and take a shower and all that stuff and also not have to carry with uh, my dirty t-shirts from uh, the day before I can just uh, throw them in the dirty clothes uh, hamper and that's it so yeah really great 10 out of fucking 10 experience and yeah see you guys later and as always keep it metal